I remember this puzzle and I had no idea how to solve it. I just spammed the buttons. What's good, Escape Academy? You are here with Slip and Eel. Time to find out which of our top students Eel, is shut Apex up. Apex first year. Shut and up. they're off. You're done. Who will reach the end first? The red track or the blue track? Uh, getting ahead of yourself, Slip. Let's see if they make it past the ballista. Try to keep up. I did really like this one. This one was cool. name is slick all right on to the second phase this, this one is where took things me a while. kick into overdrive overdrive let's see what perspective they bring to this puzzle oh, okay I could uh, do this one in my sleep. which three can you both see so it needs to be names that can be flipped like max And not Rachel, Timmy. And Wyatt. Impressive speed puzzling from the red track. Oh no, I thought I had it. Yeah, last this time she was way ahead of me at this point. The whole competition. <sighs> All right. Oh god, this one. Okay, so it's like How do I power the scales? Uh oh. How do I turn them on? Let me know if you need some help. Oh, I have to balance them? Wait. Wait, so which one's the heaviest? Red's lightest. White's heaviest. Orange is four. Blue is two. We need five times two. That's not five. Five times two. Two times two. Why is that not right? Oh, that's times three. times three, blue times one. Nine, I could do three times three. Seven, I could do four. Wait. Red's a chugger. Red's a chugging. We are halfway through. Eel, thoughts? 
If it were me out there, Slip, I'd be attacking those puzzles harder. But both red and blue okay. are putting up a decent Okay, here's fight. the puzzle. So, go way. we gotta do this in what? Under five? Eight. Under eight moves. So, seven moves or less. We gotta go circle, spade, club, triangle, square, diamond, heart. So circle is blue at the top. And then we need spade. Which is yellow. Club. Where the heck? Oh god, it's right there. Oh, green doesn't move. Red. I get it, it's like the combination of colors. Okay, triangle. Did too many moves. <laughs> Trying. Okay, let's restart. Ooh, a costly mistake. Okay, so we need circle and spade first. So we want to do yellow once, and then we want to do not yellow this time. So like that. That gets me circle spade. Oh, that gives me circle, spade, and club. Let's go. Genius mover. Okay, now we need triangle, which is all the way up there. And we need square, which is there. I feel like we're kind of stuck. We got to do two moves with this. But then we got to... We want to end with diamond there. So let's do... That... And then we want to move blue, but not red. So that would be this. So now we have... Oh, shoot. Yeah, yeah, no, that's right. Now we want to move this back, but not red. So this. That's red! I'm an idiot. I had it, and I blew it because I'm an idiot. Uh, I don't know my colors. They're gonna have to make up time on that one. Okay. Blue. Okay, purple has red in it. Don't forget. Purple has red in it. Don't forget. Purple has red in it. Okay. Triangle. We want to move red once. So that. And then this. And then that. And then this. Square diamond and then we use then we do heart there. I did it I do need Simon to help me with my colors red track is there we go on to the final phase all right last one supposed to be beating me confrontation where's confrontation I don't remember this one. oh this is a short one too Has no one been in here okay. since it's over? Uh, so we gotta do the battery lock in under ten moves. You better take a look around. Which I think was this one. Stay oh, alert. God, this one. I spent like an hour on this before. 
This took me forever. Uh. Oh god, this is gonna be terrible. I suck at this. Um. Okay. So the goal is to get. Four. Okay, we want to do that so that there's a gap. And then this. So now we have a two. And then this, and we have a one. And then... What do I do now? This... So I have one over there. And then Eel, we need to talk to you about Okay. Wait. I actually I actually solved it. <laughs> the the first time I did this, it took me forever to figure it out. Huh. Okay, so now I just have to do it in under eight. Ten moves. Has no one been in here since Eel took over? So we better take a look around. Stay alert. Um. There. 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 Here. There. Here. I did it! Eel, <laughs> that was, to talk to you about I got that way quicker than I thought I was gonna get it. First time I did that, it took me ages. Alright, there we go. We did it. Easy pe- Oh man, that platinum is dope looking. We did it! There we go. Platinum get. That was easy peasy. Let's move over to the trophy list. So... PS5. If I can spell it, Academy, that's Adkami. Is that the right? Why does that font look weird? Maybe it's just my eyes playing tricks on me. Uh, this was just one that I did for. Uh, technically, it was a Hollow Month game. That's why we started playing it. Um, do I want to like label it as a Hollow Month game? Probably not. We just happened to start playing it during Hollow Month. I didn't get it during Hollow Month. Uh, we did the full run on stream. Uh, let me just go ahead and do this so I don't have to keep copying. Okay, so difficulty. Yeah, we finished Death Store earlier today. Escape Academy. Uh, difficulty is very, very, very low. This is not a difficult game. And there's only two trophies where you have to go back and do puzzles slightly harder. You don't even have to get A plus on all of them. This this trophy sounds like it would be difficult, but it's a joke because you can actually just put in the code right at the start. You don't even have to solve the puzzles because the code's always the same. 
Um, you have to do an A-plus on 10 escapes. You don't even have to do A-plus on all the escapes. An A-plus is, like, unbelievably easy to get. If you escape without, like, 10 seconds left on the clock, you pretty much get an A-plus. Um, so, yeah. I mean, this is a very, very easy plat. So, I'm going to give it, like, uh, two. Uh, fun. It's not bad. It's not a bad plat. You basically just have to beat the game and then go back and do two more puzzles that are not that bad. And if you didn't get enough A pluses, go back and get A pluses. But going back and getting A pluses is a joke because you already know how to do the puzzles. Unfortunately, escape room games have the inherent flaw that once you do the room once, you can do it in like two seconds. So... Pretty much the hardest trophy in the game is learning how to play Mary Had a Little Lamb. If you don't know how to play it, you have to Google it. That's <laughs> that's about it. Um, so, uh, but I mean, it's not bad at all. But it's not exactly like super exciting either. So I'll give it a f six. And we'll say, no, it did not glitch. And what, how much time did it end up taking? Does this game have an in-game timer? I want to say it does. Game. I love that song. Uh, six hours. That's probably pretty accurate. So I'll, I'll just say five to six hours. That's probably pretty accurate. Uh, and yeah, that was Escape Academy. That was our 149th Platinum. Fun game. It has the inherent flaw of all escape room games, where once you do the rooms once, it's, you know, kind of it. You might as well just delete the game, because you know all the answers. Um, there is a DLC with a couple more rooms that I haven't tried yet. But in terms of, like, the base game, you can really only play through it once. But having said that, it was a very fun escape the room game. The puzzles were good. Um... There were, um... Really, like, fun moments where I actually had, like, aha moments, which is what you want out of an Escape the Room game. And the rooms were easy. Like, I ended up beating them all on my first try. But there were a couple that I barely beat. Like, with seconds left on the clock, I beat them. And it's hard with Escape the Room games, because if you make them too hard, then your first attempt is always a fail, and then the second attempt, you end up just blazing through it because you know half the answers. So you don't want to make the rooms too hard. Like, I think they had a really good balance, actually, where, like, I could do them on my first try, but they were still challenging. So this is probably, like, my favorite escape room game I've ever played. Um, I think it was, like, a really well-balanced escape the room game. So if you're into escape rooms, give it a shot. If you are into very easy Platinums you can get in under six hours, this is also a good game. It's, it's fun one time through, and then you have the Platinum, and you can move on, so... Good Platinum, good game, and that's our 149th Platinum Trophy.